praise God. The mystery of God of Revelation 10, 7 is over. It was over as soon as the authorized person gave the Lord's message of Malachi 3, 1, which ended up being the most passionate message the Lord has ever prayed for in Gethsemane for our oneness. And so I heard the Spirit of the Lord come forth and he said this by the spirit of prophecy, he who will listen to and understand my teachings of love sent by his spirit, the most regal eagle of the eons, the holy dove of love, uh, those listening shall become enlightened and they shall become aware of the mysteries that have been hidden from the beginning of the world will be revealed unto them because Adam and Eve had no belly button. That is utter truth. And the second that the knife of Abraham was lifted up, it committed Emmanuel, God in the flesh, coming again into the world. Because otherwise it only would have proved that man had the capability to love God more than God had the capability to love man if God did not do the same thing. So praise God that it no longer has to be uh, head-scratching moments of real frustration, times of puzzling wonders and fuzzy hours of enigmas uh, when you won't know what the heck is going on because you're only looking through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, only seeing in part. Now that God has given his kingdom age covenant message to all mankind, the wise might shine as the stars because we see that we have nothing but desolate heritages, Isaiah 49, 8, in this hour because we have divided ourselves and it's a world of people uh, pointing fingers at each other. It's all a, it's all a rah rah club for condemnation. And that's all it is. And it's time that we stop condemning one another because we all will shine as the stars that we were created to be because we are stars in the flesh. We are angels of God. Jesus said that the, we are gods in John 10. I tell you, as Elijah restoring all things, the Bible says that we will be as the angels, neither male nor female. The Bible says that uh, we will judge the angels before us. The Bible says that the first is last and last is first. The Bible says that the glory of the Lord's latter house will be greater than that of the former. The Bible says that in the last days would come the revelation of the Paul foretold in Romans, that all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who the hell we are. And I tell you, we are angels in the flesh. So no longer do you have to have fuzziness in your understandings and not understand what has been happening. So it's time to go forward and uh, to, to learn what the Lord is saying. So know that he that plows should plow in hope and another who works on the thresh, threshing floor in faith should also be a partaker of hope. And it's time for a great edification within the spirit. And because the dove of love is gliding forward, to bring us times of euphoria and increased understandings, knowings, so that we can uh, prosper with the gift of unity that Christ the Lord has sent unto one and all of us. So praise God, if people will open their hearts to what I'm preaching, they will have a new spiritual ecstasy, uh, a rapture, if you will, within a moment of a moment, you too will be standing upon that great white cloud of Revelation 14 where Christ is putting his sickle of love into this world to reveal that he has been the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper, Amos 9 foretold. For he is the Lamb of God who was slain before the foundation of the earth. And such tranquility awaits us from, uh, from our great beyond. And God will make all things straight. And he has made a way in the uh, wilderness uh, where there has seemed to be no way so that we can move along and that we can have a new understanding that this world was never, a uh, prophecy was never told to tell the future, but to change the future. And that is now. So get with that program and nothing but good things are ahead. So know that a wise man is like a fisherman who casts his net into the sea. And when he pulled it up, he saw it was full 
of some tiny and small fish uh, along with one big one and all together there were a thousand fish but only one big one and without hesitation the guy threw all the fish back except the big one I got the big one and it's all the other uh, YouTube stuff out there about faith and religion through the little fish this is the big channel of the big fish because it's sent from he who is walking uh, with Pope Francis I am the spiritual viceroy of Francis who has declared truthfully that we all do have the same exact Lord God. We've seen him all differently. Watch and listen to the crystal prophecy here at this channel. Uh, the Lord wants you to understand why people see things differently, but not to condemn others for what they see. Love from love. I hope you got some. Sure.